I'm Lee, here on my own today, but don't worry about that, it's all good, it's all good. Here to show you the beautiful new Sire bases that we have had turned up. So these are yeah, fresh, fresh out the box, fresh out the factory, fresh to you guys. So um, just as a quick overview, just to show you exactly what's what's been released, what's changed. Um, and then look out for individual videos. If you're looking for more detail on each model that we'll talk about today, just go to the website, have a little look, there'll be following very, very shortly as they were. So um, we should start here. So thanks for joining us. Ah, oh, before I even get onto that, subscribe, please. The little, little click down there. Oh, you could win a Sensor pedal. They're amazing. We've got two somehow, but yeah, you could win one of those. So subscribe. And while you're down there, please give us a like, a little thumbs up, it'll be amazing. So uh, we'll start here. This is the brand new Sire V3P. So yeah, if, yeah, if you're a Sire fan, you may have recognized the V3 model before it has been out before but this is the new incarnation so p is passive so without the heritage 3 preamp we have just a nice straight passive jazz bass um traditionally these were made like this obviously by the other big boys and uh yep yeah, so i've got involved stripped back all the electronics and given you this and i mean this is a bit of a love hate in the room for the finish um shall we say but i really love this satin finish um I, this and the color, this particular red one just is amazing. It's so red. <laughs> it's so red. Um, but check out the site as well. Hopefully, there might be some things flash up below. But there's some wicked colors a lovely orange, there's a blue, and uh, an all black as well, which is oh, looks really, really tasty. So, unfortunately, this is the only one we have in at the moment. So, here it is the V3P coming at you very, very shortly. Well, say if you want this one, we have this, but uh, look out for the rest of the stock coming in very, very soon. Next up we have, so this is the next range up. So this is the fives, you'll see this. Um, this particular one is a P5, P being for the precision style. Uh, we have a V5 as well, or a V5R, which we'll come to. Um, so the R is vintage inspired or retro, probably the easiest way to, to remember it. Um, so these are all passive again, um, but so you see no extra preamp or anything here. But with this, you step up in wood quality. Um, this you've got American Alder. This is solid mahogany with the V3. This goes up to Alder. And you also start seeing this lovely kind of roasted baked finish they do to the, the next. So, so take all the moisture out, make it nice and solid. Um, and just as last as long as possible, pretty much. Um, rosewood board as well, probably rosewood fingerboard, which I believe also you do get on the V3, just to check the spec. Um, but yeah, so you've got either the P-Bass style, more of the jazz style here with the uh, the V, which is the block inlays, but this is where you're stepping up to close to about sort of 500 pounds, but I, another another lovely addition. So I'll so show you the people a quick couple of tones. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, let's give you a quick, quick overview. So nice and quick, tone and volume. So this sounds, this is full tone, full volume. <laughs> Tone off. Uh, oh, this is a lovely, full, full, warm, warm sound. I can only just say, um, I mean, I, 
we are massive fans here at Anderson's of this brand. Um, for a many, many number of years now, you may have seen, we've done a lot of videos, a lot of, thanks, thanks, you know, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. Please stop giving us these great instruments for not a lot, lot of money, you know? Um, so they haven't really stopped that. So we, we really can't big them up. Me personally, just a quick side note, I, I own a couple of these as well. Um, for, for multiple years now, and they, they don't let you down. You know, gigged for, you know, in and out for the last few years. More of this range, but I, I can only, you know, testament for my own experience. They won't let you down. So, um, I, I'm, I'm getting excited just as a side fan. I've got one of these, but I'm kind of hitting towards these anyway. But that's my own thing, I'll deal with that. So, from the P5, let's just jump over and have a quick look at the V5. So, two secs. Oh, this colour as well. I'm talking about colours a lot, but um, uh, by the way, actually, with that, obviously, with the the P5R as well, and with this particular one, do check out all the other the items available because loads of different colours. But this, oh, I couldn't tell you the colour off the top of my head because this is so fresh. We just got them out, but this is beautiful. Um, all baked neck as well, so baked maple, all the lovely kind of coffee, coffee colour. It's really, really roasted on this. Really nice, man. And uh, uh, yep, yeah, this actually looks like. Ebony, but it might be rosewood, so I'm sorry, probably rosewood, but one of those. They don't hold back, spared no expense, as you, as you were. Um, and uh, as you can see, it block inlays, bound fretboard as well, so just those extra little nice features um, to finish the base. And um, worth mentioning as well, if you didn't know, they're still doing this technology with the rolled edges, so super smooth rolled edges to the fretboards, which, I mean, again, you don't normally find out into the, the real premium, normally USA made. Uh, basses and guitars, um, but you get this for around 800 pounds, which is pretty good, pretty good. Actually, no, I'm, I'm telling you a lie, because they, they, don't, they don't just do it on these top ones, they do it from that one. So from 350 up, you know, you say you're getting that extra bit of quality, which you won't get anywhere else, so. Um, and just look, I'll say the color again, just look how pretty it is. <laughs> and, right, a little bit more to hear on this one, but I won't do much, because say, look out for those full overview videos, which will go through the specs in a lot more detail, so. But this is jazz bass, full pickups, and full tone on. <laughs> Half tone, half tone. Back pickup, half tone. some spank to it that right and a little bit of neck pickup and sounds like this I've got Stevie on the brain today I don't know why anyway there we go that is your V5R. And um, say, new in the range, so they have brought out a V5 passive before, but this, they've really, say, up the specs. New appointments as well, which we'll get onto in the, in the detailed videos, but new bridges, slightly sort of new appointments like that, so. But there we go, this might be your bag, so check out the other colors. And next, this is a new model, another new model, as it were. So P8, we've changed up the numbers, we've added a new number, so it's normally, uh, you'll see V7s, P7s from uh, the standard range, which check out on the site, they are still available. So just have a, have a look, there's a few of those that they are gonna be keeping in the range. Um, but they're just be add into this with this particular model. So this is the P8, because it's the, the P-based shape. We do have a V8, we'll show you in just, just a second. Um, so this is where the Heritage 3 preamp is in use, as it were. So we haven't taken that away for the passive versions. This is where you have the full active circuitry, and it's active and, and passive as well. So you do, if you do want to get that passive sound, or if you get stuck at a gig and the batteries go, do not fear. Just switch that switch and you can carry on and then just panic about getting the battery later. Um, so this is where, say, everything steps up a little bit more. We've got a slightly different bridge. We've got a chunkier high mass bridge. You still get all the roasted, lovely, lovely roasted maple. Again, the edgeless fingerboards, the binding, the main, uh, main takeaway with this and the, the eight, I believe they're going to be keeping this as the Swamp Ash 
body range, as it were. You used to be able to choose order or ash for each, each base, which, to be honest, did get a little bit confusing. So I think that's where they're trying to simplify it a little bit. So P8s, V8s, think about ash. So if you like a, an ash-bodied base and you like the tonality and the quality of that, maybe go for this one over the order, but best to come and try these if you can as well. So just to see what's best. But I'll give you a quick, quick go on this. And obviously there's a little bit more to go through on this. So what I do, I am in, I'm on active mode now. And I'm just gonna boost everything a little bit. So the EQ, I'm gonna do low mids just a little bit. And this is both pickups and then full volume. So this is what you get. Oh, I can feel that straight in the way in the room, just that little bit of a you know extra output really. Yeah, really forces that sound through. And you know, I can feel I might need a little bit of dialing back because I'm 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 quite a heavy player myself. So even that I was thinking, ooh, this might be too much too much for me. But this is where that preamp comes into play. And you can you can mold this to your own playing and what sort of sound you're after and everything. So um and just to mention as well, obviously with the uh preamp, you need to power up the batteries as I mentioned. So oh uh 18 volt, so you've got two nine volt batteries in there, which gives you your, your main uh power. Last thing to mention. Another addition they've just added now, you actually get a uh, gig bag included in this, which was normally around 60, 70 pounds, um, and they are beautiful. And uh, look at this, my lovely assistant is passing one now. Thank you, Art. Look at this. So um, this was a nice surprise. I say, I'm unboxing it, and they actually come with these in there, so it's not an additional extra you have to get. So, and this is a proper gig bag. This is more like, um, like a hard, it's soft on the outside and, and rigid in the inside, you know, so um, you know that that's gonna be well protected in something like this, um, which is another, another little bonus. You don't have to get that extra, so. That comes with the, either the P or the V8. Here we are, so the V stands for jazz bass. <laughs> Makes sense. But, um, uh, so yeah, no, V8 uh, here, so the V, it will be your jazz style. This, this is a particularly lovely bit of ash, this one. Um, but yes, so you, this is where you'll get that lovely figure in, ash, ash wood. The tone of Swamp Ash as well is, is a lot, lot more punchier than Alder. So again, it's something that you just take into consideration for yourself. If you like that kind of sound, then, then maybe go down the Ash route. If not, stick to more traditional Alder. Um, but yes, like the, the P8 that we just looked at as well. So this is all the full preamp here. So new chunky bridge, um, as we said, binding, inlays, all the works. Gig bag as well, which we just showed you. That comes with this as well and loads of different finishes as well. So just, yeah, do check out either along, along the bottom right now, which would be brilliant. Otherwise, check the links below and they'll be all there. So just to give you a little bit of an overview on this, obviously two pickups. Oh. Now, that's one thing I don't mention. I just checked myself, right? I was about to say two and this had one, but that is one good thing about the P8. You get a jazz bass pickup in there as well. So you do have two on both. So you are a little bit more versatile than something like this one where you've just got more of the traditional one split pickup on a P bass. So my mistake, you have two on both, but this is what a jazz bass sounds like. <laughs> Oh mate, this is it. I do have a, I've got a V7, so mine's older, but yeah, I do feel at home with this. So, so yes, and uh, the, the lovely people outside did actually send me one of these V10s, so let's get one of, get one of those. Oh my God, let's get one of those. Hi, so this is the V10 DX and the P10 DX, which we'll get onto. Um, the releases I've modeled a couple of years ago, the DX stands for just a few extra appointments. And, and yeah, and uh, and that. So um, mostly in the actual hardware. So this is hip shot, hip shot tuners, big big chunky bridge. Now this looks really interesting. You've got more appointments here where you can you can 
you can do this, you can go up and down, you can go laterally, any kind of adjustment you can um, seem to make here and loads of mass, so you're gonna get a lot of sustain from that as well. So, um, but fading that, say new tuners, um, th th these necks are one of a kind. They are based on the exact jazz bass, the 70s jazz bass that Marcus Miller uses. This has got a slightly elliptical neck, so it's chunkier at the top here and it slides off quicker at the bottom here. So it's a very unique sound uh, feeling neck. For me personally, it, it was like one of those, where, where have you been all my life kind of uh, feels of, uh, of necks. It might not be for you. You know, this is, again, I would recommend if you can try these things, come in and try it. Um, but they've tried to be as universal for everyone as, as possible, but obviously this is based on Marcus's own base. So, you know, um, that's where they're going for that. Obviously this is all extra. He doesn't have all the, the bells and whistles on his, but, um, this is really cool. So they've upgraded the um, actual hardware in the preamp here. So everything's a little bit more solid. They use different dials and everything. It just feels just really, different. these are always solid, but these are like aluminum knobs as well. So everything's really, really nice and sturdy. Um, this as well, this is the level where upwards of sort of around 1500 pounds, you will get a hard case with these as well, which I can show you just like this. And it's a proper, we're not messing around. Look at this. Sire branded, ABS, look at this, proper locks, like flight locks. So, I, yeah, I can't, I can't stress enough how amazing that is, because you're looking something like 150 quid, maybe upwards of that for something like that on its own. So, the case candy as well. Great shower, man. Oh yeah, that's, this is it. So you get a few bits with it, you get an extra scratch plate, because obviously you don't get one on these, you, you do on the others. So if you wanted a scratch plate and you're maybe a bit more of a pick player, you know, and you, you want to protect this wood, you've got a clear scratch plate so you can actually see through, still see the wood and mess it up if you need to as well. So, um, but yeah, this is the top of the top um, and, and say where they are at the moment with the sires. I mean, um, we'll go on to the P as well, but this is a one of the jazz style, two single cores. The other one has the split pickup with the, the P bass pickup and the jazz as well. So um, yeah, all around beautiful, beautiful stuff. And they, I don't know if it's me, it's like they seem to be getting darker as we go along. You know, it's like they're baking it slightly more. I don't know if that's the thing, but even just the color of it, you know, like just, it's like a real rich kind of coffee sound, uh, coffee color. Um, and all the flame, all the flame you could want. So if this is up your, up your street, then um, please come and try it or just order one, give it a go at home. You know, we do that too, so that's fine. Um, but I should give you some quick tones. Say, so stick around, look out for the other full videos if you want the full spec, we will be doing that soon. So, um, this is everything on, full tone, both pickups. Oh, I'm getting carried away. P10 DX. So same appointments that have been updated on the Jazz, the, the V10 Deluxe, um, but this is your P-Base style. So again, yeah, nice chunky new bridge. Wilkinson, uh, sorry, hip shot, hip shot hardware. All the updated preamp as well, so extra solid knobs, as we've just said. But with this, this, this has got a slightly different flavor to it. You've got um, the split pickup with the Jazz, Jazz pickup in the bridge does give you a different sound than just a two single coil. So it's it's subtle, but you know, it might be something that you, you like. So if I leave this all on again, um, where are we? So both pickups on, I'm not boosting any of the preamp at all, just as it is, and this is what it sounds like. Ah, oh, cool. thanks. Um, and you, and this is hard case central as well. So, yep, you won't, you won't be uh, going home empty-handed with just this in your hand. You'll be taking a case as well. So, 
Um, yep, yeah, beautiful, beautiful bases. Um, there are some other versions that we don't have here, so please check out the website. They're great for uh, checking out flat, fretless versions of all these as well. I'm not too sure about the three or the fives, but there's definitely fretless versions in the eights and these tens as well. So if you're a fretless player, you're looking for a sire, they do pretty much do these in, um, in all fretless versions as well. This is the range. So there's new stuff for this, uh, this coming year. We've got a little bit in so far, um, but check on the website for all the stock in particular, and you'll see it as it comes in. Oh, we'll give us a call. One of the guys or girls will help you here. But otherwise, we will see you very soon for the in-depth detailed videos on each of these. So please join us then. That'd be great. And remember, subscribe. Win a clone. Ah! <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.